Splendor looks like. This is the inlet from where the air and petrol air, air flows in, and this is the outlet through which it goes to the engine. And this is where the accelerator cable goes. This is where the petrol goes in. This is the air screw. This is the choke. see how the choke works and this is called the bottom plunge now let us see how to clean a carburetor and how to see if there is any damage in any of the carburetor parts so first we need to remove the bottom plunge there are usually two or three screws at the bottom plunge So this is the bottom planche and we have the float the main jet pilot jet and the float jet is here this is the pin and now the float along with the float jet you can see here this is the float jet jet you can see that there are a lot of deposits and dirt this could cause problem in starting the engine of a carburetor every every carburetor has its own path through which the fuel and air mixture go in and the carburetor is it has to maintain certain ratio 
of uh, air and petrol the ideal ratio is 14 is to 1 only then the combustion can happen in an efficient way to pass from one end to the other to check if there are any dust particles in the path. There. So the wire has come from the other side. This is the way to clean a jet. And also these small holes can also be similarly cleaned. With a little dust in the pen, with the full jet, we can see the functioning of this. This is fine. Now let us clean the bottom plan. Light. Next, the main jet. Tighten it well. Completely tight. Now fix the float jet to the float at the correct groove and place it now lock it with the pin back to the bike so first we start with fixing the slide of the accelerator so the groove of this accelerator slide goes in towards the idle screw this is the correct position Now, fix it back. 
वन एंड टू द एयर फिल्टर I hope you all had a uh, fun time watching today's video. Thank you. I hope you liked our video today. Please like, share and subscribe. MMI MMI Midras Mechanic Institute